Back on that sink. Saw how that thing's insulated? Check out that sink, man. Check that. Wow, that's fancy. Fancy, man, look at that. Keep it all insulated, man. That thing must have been a ton of money. Good thing I got up an extra nothing for the project, huh? Check that out. All right, back at it. Well, at least now we know why the damn thing was crazy heavy. I don't know anything about the restaurant business or about their equipment, but this damn thing looks like it was specialized for something. I guess you could put a bunch of ice in this thing and it would hold and stay, and then you can, I don't know, drain it with a lever on the bottom. We're gonna turn it into a kitchen counter and a kitchen sink, as you guys know, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about it. A lot of times you gotta take it apart, have a good look at it, and then sit back and think about what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it. Because the plans always seem to change once you put it to paper and then you disassemble it. And then it becomes some other animal that you didn't anticipate. So, that's where we're at. Well, break time. Breakfast time. Eggs. I typically don't eat on camera, I apologize. But if we're gonna do a true authentic vlog, the good and the bad and the ugly, so to speak, well, I think you guys with me. I ain't got nobody to impress. But I start feeling sick if I don't eat after so many hours, so. Whether I'm hungry or not, I gotta stop and I gotta eat. Never was like that before. Back in my younger heydays, I could eat three pounds of meat at 10 o'clock at night and not have to eat till the next day and I was all right with that. <laughs> oh, the things we're able to do when we're kids, right? Or young adults for that matter. Yeah, that's the frustrating part about getting old. One of them, anyway. But have a look. Oh. That thing, it was crazy heavy, man. I was eight feet long. Damn thing had to weigh, I don't know, 150 pounds. <clears throat> All I know is I back then do it while I was uh, moving the truck around and put a dent in my truck, so. <laughs> it's kind of strong, I suppose. Not that I wanted to put a dent in the truck. How are we gonna do? Keep them moving. Oh. Excuse me. Yeah, it's a little better, I suppose. Well, the first thing that we need to do is determine the width and the length that we need, which we did. It's about 60 inches of length 
and it is about uh, 28 inches width. And somehow in the middle of all this, we have to do cutouts <clears throat> for the stove and for the sink, which it already has that. It's just a matter of getting it sorted. And of course, there needs to be a work area in between that sink and the two burner stove or top. I don't know, whatever you call that burner thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, we need to do one of those. Cooktop? Uh, I don't know. I just picked it up. It's a two burner kind of thing. It's an induction. You know, I, I don't know what it is. But all I know is you cook on a damn thing. So, we have to put in that thing. So that cooktop, whatever you want to call it, needs to sit in there along with the sink. And somehow in the middle of it, there needs to be workspace. I don't have a welder. Uh, well, I have a welder, but I don't want to weld on the stainless steel. I don't know much about welding stainless steel, and I don't want to mess with it. So I'm just going to put it together, and there's going to be a couple of seams. What I don't want is for, obviously, this thing to look like it's all patched up badly, because that kind of defeats the purpose also, you know? I like the stainless steel for obvious reasons. It's durability. The fact that it doesn't stain, the fact that you can wipe it down and beat up on it, it was great. And I'll be honest with you, uh, I used it for the past two months as a workbench, and that damn thing was fantastic. I'm actually going to miss it. I, I always, even with a big hole in it for the sink, I was throwing two by fours up there and chopping things up. And I'm sure you saw in a couple of other of my videos that I was doing that, and that was cool. Uh, but nonetheless, obvious reasons, that's why we're doing it. But the first step in all of this is you have your measurements of the length and the width that you need, but now what you need to do is you need to build the bottom and get it going. And you have to build its legs and all that. If you notice on this particular one, it had that lower shelf. So what we're going to do is I need to cut it, and I need to cut it twice because i got to make sure the edges are done right and the spacing between the legs is where I need it to be. And the thing is it has six legs. I need four. Well, that middle leg on the front and on the back needs to go. So I'm going to have to cut this thing twice and I'm going to have to put it together because I don't want to mess up the corners. The corners, you know, you got welded threaded studs on the bottom of uh, of that countertop. I don't want to have everything line up factory. That'd be pretty cool, I think. So I need to go ahead and cut out that midsection. Now, I'm going to be doing it with my, uh, with my small saw here. And I have my concerns about that too because those saws like to walk. It's, uh, you know, a reciprocating saw, no different than like a jigsaw or saw or any of that matter. They like to walk. So I'm a little concerned that I'm going to do this and I'm going to have a walking line. And because I'm not going to seam it up, uh, weld it up and grind it all down and, and make this thing extravagant, I mean, come on, I can't have 200 hours tied up in this project either. That kind of defeats the purpose. So it ain't going to be perfect. And again, like I said before in the beginning of this video, I hope this thing doesn't turn out to be a piece of crap. That would suck, you know, but for the meantime, I'm going to sit here and do some math and figure out uh, where I need to cut and how I need to cut, and we're going to get on to that step. We, we have to build the bottom first. I don't even want to do the bottom first. I want to do the top first, but I got to do the bottom first. The other thing is, is it's too wide. We need to come out 28 inches now that I'm thinking about it. We need to come out 28 inches, and we're actually coming out uh, 32, something to that matter. So that whole lower panel, I'm going to have to cut two sides on it, which is kind of going to suck. Because, again, you <laughs> the walking of the blade is what I'm not looking forward to. Because, you know, you're going to have that waviness, and then you have to figure out how to make it look good. So this ain't going to be easy. And for the third time, I hope it doesn't come out like a piece of crap, but here we go. <laughs> 